what you guys got another video here for you now if you've locked yourself out of your Windows uh, computer and you want to use a uh, Kali Linux to reset your password I'm going to show you how to do it in this video now most people now to reset passwords nowadays but I wanted to make this one because I've had so many requests uh, for Kali Linux and do some videos with Kali Linux so I thought I'd make this a uh, video for you but as you can see here we have been locked out and uh, what we're going to do is reset our password uh, with uh, Kali Linux and it's pretty straightforward and easy to do so what we're going to do is reboot our system into our BIOS and then boot to our USB flash drive uh, and then uh, or our CD-ROM drive and then change the password with uh, Kali Linux so let's go ahead and do that so I'm just going to restart here once the update you can see so I'm just going to have to pause the video here Okay, so I was tapping F2 to get into my BIOS, and your BIOS may look different to this one. So you need to tap the key, uh, whatever it is on your board, uh, to get into uh, the BIOS, whether it be the Dell key or Delete key, F2, F11, F12, what it is to get into your BIOS. Then you may look at a slightly different BIOS, but all you need to do is go over to the boot section and change the boot order to boot to CD-ROM drive or uh, removable devices as you can see here which will be uh, flash drives and stuff like that yours will be more up to date and it may say something like USB flash drive select that one and then push F10 to save those settings now once you've done that you will enter this uh, boot up screen here and you can see here we're going to go into the live forensic mode here push enter and let that load up okay so it's going to take a bit of time you're going to see a load of stuff coming up on the screen don't worry about that that's just this Linux booting up now you've got a couple of uh, choices here once you get into this uh, desktop you can uh, use different methods to reset the password I'm going to show you an easy way to do it okay so now we're at our desktop of our uh, Kali Linux now if you go to places here you can go to computer and uh, once you get into computer you want to go to other locations here okay so click on this and you should now see your drive here now once we open this up now if you shut the PC down and full shut the PC down you may not be able to enter this and you may be locked out okay now if you've done that then you need to uh, do the F disk uh, fix on it and what you would do when you click on this it won't open so you want to open up a terminal if that is happening to you at this stage and you want to do F disk okay and then space uh, dash L and once you've done that it will open up this window here and it will show you your drive okay and there you can see dev um, SDA2 and that's the drive that we want to try to fix so what you want to do now is do NTFS and uh, from there you want to do fix and then space and then you want to put in that dev and then forward slash uh, sda2 and then push enter here okay now obviously mine is working and it's okay uh, but you'll get a load of stuff come up and then you should be able to enter uh, your drive like this okay and this is your windows drive so you can see your uh, program files and stuff like that now to reset the password on this what you can do is you can uh, go go to the actual uh, drive here so close this off and you'll see the drive on here okay so you want to right click on this and open this up in a terminal I see loads of people trying to do the navigation through the terminal and it, it can be pretty difficult if you're not uh, familiar with uh, Linux so just right click on this and then open up a terminal and it will open up a terminal for the media root and the drive itself because that is the actual drive uh, there and if you take a look here you'll see uh, the drive itself so if we open this up and you click here you'll see the drive uh, number there okay so once we've got into this uh, location so we're going to open up a terminal and then from there what we need to do is we need to navigate to our config folder which is in system 32 okay so the way we need to do that is do change directory which is CD which is very similar to Windows uh, change directory uh, so you need to be uh, precise with the capitals and stuff like that in Linux because it is case sensitive and it won't work so make sure you do that now I've got a microphone in front of me so it's difficult to type 
um, what I'll try my best. Uh, and also you want to do config here in lowercase. So make sure you put in the capitals just in case because it is a bit case sensitive. Push enter here and you should now be in this location. Now once we get into this location we want to do ls and then space dash uh, l and then capital letters you need to make sure that's in capitals which is sam okay and then star and that's going to be the wild card for for that okay and then push enter and it will give you this information here so once we've done that what we can do next is open up our password uh, tool here and that is by typing out thntpw and then space dash l and then sam in capital letters okay now the sam folder or file which is in windows contains all the user data and passwords and stuff like that so that's why we're using uh, that file there then push enter here and then this will open up this little window now from here you will be able to list all your accounts on your windows account and we can see uh, the account here which we're interested in which is brightech and uh, yours will be different so that is the account we're going to be using here so now what we need to do is type in the next command which is chn uh, tpw and then space dash u like so and uh, we're going to go space and then the account name for your account mine is brightech so that's the account i'm using and then space and then sam like so push enter and uh, this will come up and this is the uh, area where we can use the clear password okay so you we want to put in one here and push enter and you'll see it will remove that password it won't do much but it, it does exactly that so if you try and do it again it will just disappear now when you push enter okay but it has worked so also um, if you use number two here if you look at number two it says unblock and enable user accounts that's probably locked so push two and you'll see and it says seems unlocked already so we have an unlocked account which is what we want so now what we want to do is push Q for quit and uh, and it will say that you've made changes to the hives on that Windows operating system uh, so what we're going to do is say yes here Y for yes push enter and that will say OK and that's now uh, continued to save that uh, change that you've done here and now we can close off the terminal and we can reboot back to our Windows operating system so you want to shut shut this down and remove the USB flash drive or the CD which you have used okay so I'm just going to quickly do that and power off the unit so we'll just let Windows boot back up now and uh, as you can see here we should just go straight into the desktop because we cleared uh, that password and there we have it that's the password removed with Kylie Linux anyway I hope this one helps you out guys I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos guys then give it a thumbs up and I shall see you again for another video shortly have a great weekend guys and I shall see you again in another video bye for now